Hello guys, welcome to video processing with FPG. We are from Digitronics Nepal and Logitronics. So this course is on implementing different video processing algorithm with FPG design tool and devices. So we are in section 1, 2 and B. So this section is video direct memory access overview. So this is very short session for VDMA. So VDMA is the DMA specialized for video packets, which is like the normal DMA, AXI DMA. So it can convert memory map information or packets into streaming packets or vice versa, that is streaming into memory map. So the main operation of VDMA is streaming and converting those streaming packets into memory map type of data so the memory interfaces can be connected with the PDMA so PDMA can also handles and implement some early or pre-processing of videos like scaling or cropping so PDMA actually consists of a specialized frame buffer and that frame buffer actually performs better than the normal AXI DMA while processing videos. So here we can see the plot diagram of VDMA. So here we have the AXI memory map interface and another is AXI stream interface and this is for AXI light which is for control. So we can have memory map data converted into AXI stream data or vice versa from VDMA. So the product guide PG020 is the detailed explanation about the VDMA. This so here we have the difference between DMA and VDMA. So basically DMA is the foundation of VDMA which actually have the capability of transferring streams from memory device to FEGA logic or vice versa. And VDMA actually consists of video DMA consists of the mechanisms or the capability of handling frame synchronization using ring buffer. So it utilizes the ring buffer while storing in DDR memory and it can also provide some pre-processing features like resolution changing, cropping, zooming, etc. So we can also do the pre-processing things with VDMA IP. So both VDMA and DMA, AXI VDMA or AXI DMA can provide the scatter gather support. So this scatter gather support is actually the mechanism for reading and writing process. So scatter scattering the information or packets and again gathering while reading the packets is the basic mechanism of scatter gather. So this mechanism is very much important for DDR which is very much talk in X uh, talk in PCI subsystem for DMA which is XDMA and other other DMA IPs we are not much going to dip on that scatter gather and here we can see the basic difference between VDMA and DMA so basically VDMA is specialized for video packets and DMA can do lots of things, not only the video packets, it can transfer like other data, like a normal calculation data or other operation data, which is needed for processing system and can be stored on DDR. So the main operation of DMA is converting memory map data into streaming or streaming data into memory map. So we talk about memory map and streaming. So let's know a little bit more about memory map streaming. So this PowerPoint is actually referred from Mohamed Sadri PowerPoint. So this memory map interface is explained here. So memory map interface consists of different five channels, three write channel and two read channels. So this need number of channels and number of control signals and the information hand checking information. And this streaming interface just consists of single channel. So that single channel can send the stream of data very fast than the memory map interface. So streaming interface is very much preferred for high speed data transfer, but 
for streaming interface we need to have both devices with similar clock or synchronized so memory map interface can have different type of clock also because this memory map slip provide the hand checking signal and request the signals but in streaming there is only one directional master can send the data to slave or slave can send data to the master so the importance of vdm axi vdm has been explained here this is also refer by refer to mohammed sadr slide so this axi vdm or central dm that that is cdm there are mainly three type of dm in vivaro one is normal dm axi dm another is vdm another is cdm so we mostly prefer or we mostly use vdm for video processing projects so while we have video processing pipeline with camera filtering some transform so these things come up with axi stream so axi stream is the high speed data transfer mechanism so we talk about stream in previous slide so that stream need to be process and stored for very small amount of time like we need to buffer that stream so we can process with different algorithms so that for that purpose we need to store this streaming into memory memory device like dram so we can see here dram so this shared memory can be utilized for storing stream but stream data cannot be directly put into the dram so we need to convert this stream data into memory map because we have to provide some addresses and store that add value on specific addresses store the, those streams on specific address so that thing is done by axi data mover or axi pdma or axi dma or axi cdma so this data mover or pdma in our case can convert stream into memory map and cpu can utilize some algorithm for processing here or there may have different other clock which process the inputs so in this case stream data comes from camera to the axi vdma it stores that stream data into dram cpu did the processing things or some configuration things and pre processing can be done in dram based on dram then after cpu release the memory map packets to this another vdma in our case so this vdma converts memory map data into streaming so finally we get the streaming output which can be displayed or stored so up in hdmi monitors so so we can also have post processing things like we can have high level synthesis ip or bsdl verilog ip that is rtl ip for post processing while this memory interfacing allow us to process utilizing processing system or micro blades or central processing system so this is the very basic example of how streaming and memory map work on any real time project of video processing so this is the vdma ip of vivaro so it have s axis stream to memory map port and it have just opposite m axis memory map to stream port and here is the m axis memory map to stream and stream to memory map port so these ports are necessary for storing information to the memory that is dram and retrieving those packets from dram to streaming output port so this is the customization option of vdma we will also talk about this option in live session which will be led by another co instructor so we can just enable the right channel and this right channel actually can get all the parameters automatically and we can configure it channel according to right channel or is our need so here we have the tpg that is test pattern generator we just talk about tpg in previous lecture tpg plus pdma block design so we can see the block design here so we have tpg we have axi pdma actually this tpg provides the output of streaming that streaming output can be fed to 
AXI BDM, this AXI BDM is stored that output of TPG to a memory map DRAM and that DRAM can be accessed from processing system and we can do some processing or we can just pass through the input to again streaming output port into the AXI stream to video out. So this video out IP show up the output on physical VGA port, VGA interface port. So we also have explained about these things in here. So we have the digital block design here, but this block design is not much clear because it is com larger, larger than the previous one. So we have TPG, we have BDMA, and we have the timing controller as we talk in the TPG section. And we also have ILA that is integrated logic analyzer that ILA provide us the debugging lines or debugging segments which we can tap which we can monitor after implementing it on after implementing this design on FVG device so we have some ILA IP block this ILA IP block is also available at Vivado which is free so this ILA is debugging IP block so we have Zinc processing system TPG PTM and finally stream to video out so this stream to video out gives the output into PGA format so there are some examples inside this repo of your SDK installation directory so you can go to this location see some examples there is an TPG API which is also available on this that location and we can call that API so that API can be instantiated on your SDK program we will also talk about those things in SDK in next video lab and we can configure the PDMA and on talking about this TPG plus PDMA we need to configure first TPG then we can configure the BDMA from the SDK program so this design can work on direct monitoring of Zinc processing system direct monitoring by Zinc processing system so we will talk about more on lab session so here is the configuration and API call so we can call the API instance pointer with some resolution can be called and we can instantiate the values or offset to the BDMA IP so that BDMA IP can receive and perform the operation so it, it need to be do the memory map to streaming operation and streaming to memory map operation and processor can monitor and control the complete operation and this address is actually generated by using address editor and the offset address so base address and offset address has been added and generated this address so we will also talk about this on next lab session so here are some exam uh, reference and uh, example links pg020 is the main product guide and there are some examples so this is from Mohammad Sadri and this is from Lowry so you can also visit those things we'll have lab season in next video and we'll also see the this type of pattern or another type of pattern in monitor display so guys thanks for watching we'll continue next lab session